Have you got the new vertical OBS plugin from the team at Atom and want to know how you can control it with Sammy? Well, you're in the right place. We at StreamUp have got a cheeky extension for you that will allow you to control every aspect of the vertical plugin for OBS with Sammy. I'll be showing you everything you need to know. If you haven't seen the vertical plugin before, then you can check out my full video on it in the description. But I'm pretty sure you don't live under a rock, dear. It's literally everywhere at the moment. Silverlink from our StreamUp team created this extension for Sammy nice and quickly. So please be sure to go stop by his stream and thank him, all right? If you guys are StreamUp users, we have got you covered too. I'll leave you that video down below as well. Getting our hands on this is going to be super easy. We just need to jump to the website of StreamUp, which is an incredible team, may I say. I'm on it. Yeah, one of the founders. It's great. It's amazing. If you've not checked it out, do it. And we're going to select freebies just at the top here. And then you should see eight and vertical actions for Sammy. Just click that. And then it will give you all the information you need to know just here. And we can press download the SEF file. It says companion video coming soon. Well, that's now. So when you are there, you'll see this video, video section. It's just the way it is. Whilst we wait for that to download, even though it already has, press that like button and subscribe if you are new here. Because it is going to massively help me keep teaching you guys how to get the most out of your streaming game all right nice one then we can open up sammy once in sammy it is super easy to install extensions if you haven't already literally all you do is press bridge on the left hand side press install an extension and then navigate to wherever that download is so you can see it here stream up obs vertical so we're just going to open that and it's going to install this new deck double click into there and you'll have all these different buttons so the buttons that you can see you've got the stream up website as well and if you want to go and support silverlink which i highly suggest because he's been awesome creating this little free extension for you guys and we've got all the different settings that we can control so we've got backtrack which is where we're making the clips we can use that we can start it stop it save status and we've got virtual camera for start stop and status same for streaming recording and we've also got the ability to switch scene and get the current scene. Silverlink has said he's put a subliminal message in this deck, but I'm not seeing anything. I mean, if you guys can see it, let me know in the comments below. I have no idea what he's talking about, so I don't know. I think he might be losing it a little bit, but it's all right. It's all right. We love him. So now we can jump into OBS. So I've got a couple of scenes here. I've got my just chatting scene with me and Excel Drive looking cool, you know, as we do. Just, just hanging out in the pub and just doing what guys do, right? And we've got my gaming scene just here, which is the wonderful Waldo, as I don't have any gameplay. Again, that's because I'm too busy making this content for you guys. I've been popping out a video every single day, so make sure you are subscribed because they're all pretty incredible. If I do say so myself, obviously. And I've got the same two scenes on the vertical as well. So we've got the just chatting and I've also got the gaming scene. So let's start getting busy with a fizzy and having a little look how this is going to work. Jumping back into Sammy, we can start having a look how these buttons work. So let's, for instance, start looking at switch scene because that's quite a simple one. So I'm going to double click into it. We can see Silver has put a bunch of comments in here to see how it works. All you need to do is put the scene you want to switch to in, in between the speech marks on row zero, which is just here. The scene that I want to switch to is going to be from the just chatting one to my gaming scene. So a really handy way that I could do this is just press uh, rename and copy this to make sure that I don't have any spelling mistakes in there. And then when I paste that straight into Sammy just here, you can see that is selected. So if I just press save now, go back to the just chatting scene in OBS. As you can see, I can change these scenes manually and it's not affecting the horizontal canvas that I've got. But now if I press the run button, you'll see it changes scene. So now I can use this tool to change scenes independently if I want to. Obviously the vertical plugin does have the link scenes option so you can automatically switch, but this is if you wanna just switch independently, which is a really handy thing to do. So basically, if you're wanting to put this into any command that you've already got, what you can do is press the check all button and then you can just literally copy selected and then go and paste that into whatever command you want to use makes it super easy for you to edit and put in onto whatever you want really nice and handy 
So let's have a look what else this has got to offer. So I'm going to save and close that down. So we've got a get current scene as well. Really nice handy one. Works in the exact same way. So this is going to create a variable called current scene whenever we run it. So I'm going to do a little handy one of just doing a Twitch message for now. So send a Twitch message just here. And all I'm going to do is put the scene I am on now is use the variable which is super easy to do. You just do a backslash dollar sign and it automatically fills the middle bit out. And then I'm gonna use the current scene variable just there. I'm gonna press save. And then now, when I press run, watch my Twitch chat just down here. It's gonna say, the scene I am on now is vert just chatting. So I'm gonna change that to vert gaming, run. The scene I'm on now is vert gaming. So you can create some advanced little things saying if I'm currently on this scene, then I don't want it to do a certain task or I do want to do a certain task. It's completely up to you how you start manipulating this data. So what else can this do? We can actually trigger our recordings and our streaming status as well. So I'm going to show us the uh, recording one for now in this example, but it works exactly the same for virtual camera, backtrack and also streaming as well. So say we want to start recording. Let's have a look how this works. Works. It's just a simple command. Again, if you want to put this into any of your other buttons, just copy, press check all, copy, and that's it. You can paste it anywhere. So on this button, if I press run now, what do you think is going to happen? This little red dot should fire up, right? Boom. That's it. It's sent. And obviously, with vertical plugin being set up, it's automatically put backtrack on. So I can jump out of there if I want to. I'm going to jump, save and close. And if I say backtrack save, for instance, and run this command, boom, it's going to do a backtrack save, which is just there. And then once more, just for, for good measure, if I do recording stop, I can press run and that will stop as well. Nice and simple. I love it when things are easy. So once again, if you are putting this into any other of your commands, make sure you do press check all and don't just copy this main command because it might not get all the information straight away. So basically this wait until variable exists command is basically telling it to just hang on a minute, make sure I've got this data and that the task is go done and everything like that before moving on. So the only other one that's slightly different is would be the get status. This command will save a variable called status, okay? So I'm just gonna do a Twitch command in here just so you can see what it sends out. So I'm gonna send a message to chat and I'll put uh, the recording status is and then I'm gonna do the variable again. So we can see the, the variable name is status. I'm gonna do backslash dollar sign and type in status, press save, and then I can press run. And you'll see recording status is zero because it's a true or false basically. So now if I press recording and if I press run again, we can see it changes to one. I hope that has helped you out. I mean, these plugins can be quite complicated. So if you have any issues or questions, throw a comment below or feel free to ask us in this stream up discord. In fact, I have a great idea. I think you should find out everything you need to know about the vertical plugin just here. All right, put your rock over the stone. I'll see you in the next one.